Hey, welcome back to Turnbull Garage. So today, it's a cool one. There's a lot of frost. It got quite cold overnight. But today, we're going to be working on this. We're going to be putting the roll pan on the back of the S15 pickup. So yeah, the roll pan's all done. Got her painted up and it's been sitting here waiting. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing put on so I can get that license plate out of the back window and where it belongs. All right, let's see if we get this roll pan to fit. So I kind of wondered about this exhaust. This was weird. It had, this exhaust had a factory bracket here with the, with the, um, it was a license plate bracket with a light right here. It looked very factory. The wiring harness ties in here and with no bumper. So I'm wondering if these trucks actually came with a bumper delete. It may have been the case, but anyway, this exhaust pipe is slightly in the way of the valance. It, uh, so I gotta try and beat this thing back. I've tried a couple times here. I didn't mean to hit it that hard right there. So I'm gonna get a piece of wood on here and beat it and see if I can get that to bend in a little bit. That doesn't seem to be working, so I've got a, a propane torch on there. I'm gonna try to heat this pipe up, see if I can soften it up and bend it a bit. Uh, I just gotta bend it forward. It's just uh, sticking out a bit too far. And uh, I don't have any map gas, that'd be much nicer. I'm gonna have to buy some of that. But uh, anyway, we'll see if this torch can heat this thing up. Okay, that got the exhaust moved up enough out of the way, so that's good. Beat it to submission. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna try to do is actually, there's a couple dents in the bottom lip of this uh, tailgate. I'm gonna try and bang those out just a wee bit. Okay, I decided I'm gonna take the tailgate off and uh, straighten it up that way. I also marked, as you can see down here on the side, the height of where the tailgate, when you open it and close it, where that height is so I can guide that for the roll pan. All right, next issue I'm having is the little piece that uh, you lower the spare tire from that is sticking out into where this roll pan needs to go. So I think I'm gonna take the spare tire right out of this thing. So that'll be my next move. a few videos on the installation of these roll pans and one thing I've noted is that in order for the tailgate to uh, to clear as it rolls when it opens these uh, roll pans have to be down farther than you'd like because they don't line up nicely with the curve of the box so they do look a bit odd I think these are designed for uh, basically a, a, a welded in tailgate and these are just a solid perfect fit for, for that because if you have a, tail, a tailgate that opens it's got to be down a bit low. So what I'm going to do, I've marked what I think is the lowest point with the uh, tape here of where the tailgate is going to open. And uh, that's where I'm going to mark, or that's where I'm going to line up the uh, roll pan, the top edge of the roll pan. Get it in here. And then I'm just going to mark a couple of spots to drill some holes and get this mounted here. Let's see, that's got to be right about there. Spot here. This one. Right there. 
Oh, fine. All right, let's drill a couple holes. Make sure there's no wire in behind there. My battery dies. So it does come with a couple of other small sheet metal screws that I think you screw in from the side here to tie it into the, the balance right like that, which actually isn't too bad. So I'm gonna have to get in there and hit that. Just realized this is in the wrong spot. This is supposed to be on that bottom line of that tape, not the top. I'm pretty sure I screwed that up royally. Oh yeah, that's not gonna work. Jesus, that's why it was lining up so nice. <laughs> yeah, no, that's not gonna work. That's a big negative. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world. I think I'm gonna put that tailgate back on. Re-measure, because I'm all out of whack now. All right, got the roll pan on here. Uh, this corner of the truck actually has, it's had a hit. There's some body filler in here. Uh, actually, it doesn't even match up very well with anything, but uh, hey, it is what it is. This was a cheap build truck. Anyway, it just clears. Opens and closes. The next thing I do is do the uh, license plate light. All right, I need to uh, extend these wires on the license plate light to meet up with uh, the truck's harness, so I just got a couple of wires here I'm gonna use as little extensions. So uh, I use these uh, little butt splices they're uh, heat shrink, and the thing I like about these is they um, there's glue inside them as well. So when you heat them up, it completely seals the wire, so you don't have to worry about any uh, moisture getting in there and corroding the joint. They're uh, they're weatherproof. So let's go put this into the truck. So I'll feed our wires up through the hole for the light here. Screws in. Oh, just a little bit too tight. There we go. All right, now let's cut in the splice the wires in. Okay, this might be a little hard to see with the light, but basically what I've got is the the factory lights right here. 
These are my wires right here, so I'm gonna cut this off, splice them together. All right, that light is working. One thing to know that uh, these LED lights are um, sensitive to polarity. So you have to make sure you have the wire uh, on the right uh, or the, the polarity correct. So I had to, I just pushed the wires in, made sure the light would work and then I crimped my connector on. So now I'm just gonna give these, just hook these up real quick with a tie wrap. And uh, that should do it. Little. And there you can see, we've got a nice light. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, one less thing to do on this truck. There's still two things I need to do on this truck that's fine, the glove box, and actually the outside door handle mechanism, something's not working. You can only open the passenger, dive, uh, passenger side door from the uh, inside, so I've gotta fix that. But uh, that's gonna do it for today. Uh, the next video out is gonna actually be uh, traveling down to Barrett Jackson in Arizona there. So uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thoughts and comments, leave them below. And uh, how about a thumbs up? Think about subscribing. There's gonna be some great videos coming up over the next week or two. So uh, thanks again and uh, have a nice day.